Welcome everybody back to Boost and Forens, and this is going to be the second video on my YouTube channel. So first thing, shout out to my whole Boost and Forens family. I know you guys already hit the like button. Thank you guys for your support. And if you're new to the Boost and Forens channel, well, this is a Boost and Forens channel, which means that we're going to talk about Mercedes, BMW, and Audi, and anything that I kind of deem that's within the Euro world. I'm actually Boost in Motion. I actually run a first YouTube channel, which was pretty successful, I would say, in my own being, and I've helped a lot of people in the community from Nissans and Infinities on helping how to build and buy performance parts and tuning for their, for, for their Nissan Infinity vehicles. But for the Mercedes community, I see that there's not as much people, and especially that I'm now in my second euro car my e63s yes, my first one was a c63 i realized there's not enough people giving guidance on what to purchase what to look out for and the information that's needed i'm not an entertainment channel but i'm here to try to help you guys on your automotive journey so guys let's go let's jump right into it so first thing um before you guys go jump and start losing your mind because you saw you see alien express hear me out I want to give you guys a PSA before I start breaking down this video. For the people who are watching, I'm going to be very thorough so that you guys can save the most money and you buy the best quality, which is usually some of the hardest things to do. But you guys need a breakdown on what to actually purchase because you might be new to performance. You might be new to these type of parts. And I want you want to make sure that you spend money once and you're done. OK, so the couple little terms that I want to jump in here and actually explain to you guys, this video is going to be for W213 E63 with a with the VA twin turbo motor. Right. This is from 2018 and up or 2017. If you're a Euro car overseas. Now, there's going to be some terms you're going to see quite often, such as 304 steel. Now, we hear 304 steel. That's pretty much the grade and quality of a steel. It's going to be very similar through all the downpipes in this video. We're only going to be talking about downpipes, pretty much the pipe that connects from the turbo and until it connects to the rest of the catback exhaust. We're not talking about the full catback exhaust, only that. The second, um, the third thing we're going to be talking about is um, catless and catted downpipes. There's a difference between the two. And for me to clarify quickly on videos, uh, catted means that there is, it'll be catalytic material inside the pipe this is usually used to burn off the excess fuel and gas so that you can have less um carbon footprint when you go with catless you're you don't you remove that um that um analog or that stationary um catalyst material that usually will burn off the excess gas which means you're killing the earth unfortunately but it usually sounds freaking amazing and you can hear more turbo spool so I want to break that down. And lastly, um, the couple things I want to say is understand there will be a difference between you when you do go with a catless system. Repeat, when you go with a catless system, you will get a check engine light. Most of the times you can try to get oxygen sensors, eliminators, maybe followers. This pretty much these are type of um, tools we use to try to get rid of check engine light. Not all of them are very effective. And on the Mercedes platform, at least from what I can tell, I thought the, the two ones I've owned, you really can't really get rid of the check engine light when you go full catless unless you get the car fully tuned on a stage two where they turn off emissions. Now, if you live in a country or state where emissions is a matter and you don't mind a check engine light, you'll be perfect. You would usually be perfectly fine. But the car still isn't tuned to its um. I would say proper a, a proper um stage. So if you just put the catalyst on there and you don't tune the car, the car will not be running right. Your car needs to be tuned, knowing that you are catalyst so that they can actually get your car's tuned properly and running a okay. All right. Now, whew, this is gonna be a long video, so hear me out. Now, first thing, let's jump into Alien Express. Now, I've I've purchased stuff from Alien Express before. Some of you guys would say this is cheap, a Chinese or Taiwanese brand. Um. Yes and no. I want to be fair and say yes and no. I would say yes because it is cheap. Um, but just because it's cheap doesn't mean that um, it's bad quality. And what I mean by that is a lot of the manufacturers that you may see in this video or these companies actually just purchase their downpipes from these companies and upcharge you guys a extra price for just being the third party seller. Yeah, guys. So I'm not want to drop any companies, but let's just think about this one. This company is called Kung, Kung Fu Performance. They're using 304 steel, three inch um, exhaust catless downpipe. There's just no cats, right? And another company might come in, let's just say CAD, right? And they might charge you 800. So they purchased it from them for 400 or they might get a, a manufacturing discount for like 300 and then they will charge you guys like 800. 
so that they can um add uh, even make extra money off just welding on a little thing that says it's from them. You'd be surprised how much companies do this. Now, this is one of the cheapest options that you I can find on the market from the ones I actually trust that I actually believe would actually fit and bolt right up. Quickly, let's look through some of the photos. Um, my computer's a little slow today. Tell me about it. Um, understand usually when you go with the even though three or four steel is pretty great, every welder isn't com considered equal. So understand there's going to be a couple of details or welding that may not be good. Like these tabs don't look like high quality when it comes to the welding. So you can actually kind of see that. So over time, this part can actually rust where this bracket is or even this oxygen bus could actually, well, this actually looks like a pretty good weld. But it's this type of stuff, because it goes through, has rust and it may bend and it lose, lose, they lose um, very flimsy metal and they have a lot of welding points and joints, that this may actually crack or bend over time. It all depends. Even though it's stainless steel, you never know. You could run into these issues over time. Now, second company. You, this one blew my mind. OBX Racing. Now, some of you guys are, are like, what the hell is OBX? OBX been out for quite a long time. I've actually started a lot of my tuning and um, modifying in the Nissan Fitting community. So, uh, OBX has been around for quite a long time. And it's a brand that makes cheaper, more affordable downpipes. Now, notice Walmart is selling it. Yes. So, if you're in America, you can actually purchase from Walmart. So, you don't have to ship through something through um, Alien Express or even um, these other Alibaba. You can order these directly from walmart and you could go to the obx site and it seems like they're a little bit cheaper so not much pictures here um the welds from what i can tell actually look a lot better than what was compared over here and even these brackets don't look like a three-stage bracket as or a four stage this one just looks like they cut it and then weld it on both sides Th this could also still weld over time and crack and if and then based on these photos, it is kind of a cutout, so you it looks weird, but they kind of cut it out with the back white background. And do I and they want four eighty two. So just off that alone, this one actually might be even cheaper because um, the other one was charging about one hundred and sixty nine dollars for shipping. This one, you guys could go look for it up yourself. I'm not going to do it on video, but. Seeing that it's probably going to be America, the shipping is going to probably be cheaper. So the OBX is probably the most affordable downpipes for your W213E63. Now we're going to go to another brand. This brand is called um, Becker Performance. Notice that it looked very similar again. Notice that? And they're using a very similar stock photo. Hmm, isn't that weird? They want 476 Hmm, okay. Let's just continue. Now we're going to go to Carrot Top Tuning. Um, this looks, seems like a really real site. I took a look at it, and it seems like they have a discounted price also on theirs. And they actually have a stock photo where they installed it under the vehicle. And you can actually see the downpipes there connecting to the rest of the exhaust. And you can see the welds. Now, I can say these tabs look a little bit different. Let me see if they look a little bit different. No, they still look very similar to the ones in the last two based on the photos and based on this photo. They don't really let me explode it that much. I really wish they did. The tabs look very similar to the last three. Isn't that quite funny? I'm teaching you guys and putting you guys onto something here. Now we're going to go to another company, Car Treat or Car's website, Car Treats. They want $7.89 for their downpipes. Now these ones look like they're welded slightly differently. Like they put more of a chrome finish on their stainless steel. Um, and But I really can't get too much views of the tabs and everything so that's unfortunate that i can't really get it detailed enough this one may be a copy of the other three or four but it seems like they may have added a chroming or stainless steel process so that it looks a little bit better you know now this is 789 these prices are going to jump up very quick um, next is HMD exhaust. Now this is from, um, alien express. This one seems a little different because if you guys take a quick look, um, they give you a couple of options. You have catless option, which is 577. This is without cats, right? Remember guys, this is without cats and you can actually go with catless, uh, 100 cell, 200 cell and 300 cell quickly for the people who made it to here. I should have said at the start. One, 200, 300 cell all depends on how easy the exhaust flows out. 
usually the lower the number is how easy the exhaust flows out. The higher number is usually a little bit more, more restrictive, but it's going to be better than your stock cats on your vehicle, your OEM cats. So 300 is still going to be better than whatever is on your car, period. Now, they want... 577 which is probably, which, which is put once again pretty cheap but then their shipping is 245 still expensive their cat system i would recommend on video stay with the 300 cell i believe cars after 2018 or 2020 um or 2022 they all seem like they have to start with like a 400 500 cell catalyst to converters because it did change over time so i would still stick with that 300 cat and that still seems like it's 245 but a little bit above $1,000 for catted downpipes is really good. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Why? Um, also, on top of that, I should have said it. When you go with f full catted downpipes with such a high number count, such as a 300, you'll have a less likely chance of running into check engine lights because of the cats doesn't mean that you still won't run into it it's just depending on your fuel elevation and a couple of the contributing factors on how your car is running but usually when you go with cat catted down pipes that are very close to oem spec you shouldn't run into any check engine lights even not tuned All right next we have modular works now they've been a while they've been making components and parts for the w213 and mercedes and i've been watching them and i think they're making some really good parts so their cat system their catless system uh seems like they wrapped them it's like they wrapped them um with some kind of heat wrap this is what it looks like which i think is pretty fine it brings down uh, radiant heat in the engine on the engine bay which is pretty good and keeps that exhaust temperature high so it can actually get out the exhaust a lot quicker so i think that's a really good thing and also usually if this heat wrap is wrapped properly um i don't know if it's if it's heat wrap or heat shielding i'm not too positive so i have to leave it at that because i really can't tell it looks like more of a heat shield shielding where it's like it's still like a metal slash aluminum that doesn't um rust over time rather than heat wrap so that's still a, a added cause and the welding looks good but i can't really tell because they don't really show much of anything here but they want 930 dollars next we have uh, canadian auto parts they want a hundred dollars for theirs, and honestly, they give qu quite a amount of photos, which looks quite. And they put their nice little stamp there, if you could tell, right? Um, once again, you'll start seeing a lot of the the usual turns and bends, and you'll be like, okay, they, you'll see a lot of common stuff that you usually that you're gonna see with other exhaust. See how their tabs look very similar to another company's tabs. Hmm, who would have known that, huh? So that's what, sorry guys, I got to go back. That's what Canadian Auto Parts wants to send you guys for $100. Now, next one is Speed Shop. Speed Shop um, ones, once again, looks like they have a lot of chrome. They, they cover up a lot of their welds, and they have bands, and they want about $100. Wasn't there another company that seemed like they had a lot of a chrome added to theirs, too? Wasn't there another one? A lot of chrome? Hmm. A lot of chrome, right? Looks very similar. Very similar to something we might have saw before, but they wanted $1,000. Next one, MTC Motorsports. Now, this seems like a Euro company because everything's in Euro. Um, I actually like how theirs look. I like their welds to me personally. I think their welds look pretty good. Um, their bends, their tabs look a little bit different. If you, They build an actual door a 90 degree angle with the welds so it'll prevent it from moving back and forth it won't break and snap off because they put those small little um triangles you're supposed to put triangles and everything or three-sided metal brackets to actually be able to form from it bending and cracking the way it is so i actually like this a little bit better in my personal opinion i think it's more sturdier over time doesn't mean that it can't you know rust out or anything like that but i do like how these personally look in my opinion for what they actually look like but that's just me personally. Heat wrap, like the other company, would be actually pretty dope. And this company wants about 900 euros. So I can't remember how much that in U.S., but you do the math. Next one, PLM. PLM actually been off of, is another company that makes a lot of generic parts for a lot of different cars, generic performance parts. So I do trust them, and I have PLM parts back in the past. They want $1,200 for their down catalyst system. 
Their catless system, though, does seem like they're just spray painting it. Um, this covering that they have right here just looks like spray paint. It literally just looks like they take, they bought, <laughs> I hate to say it, it looks like any other catless system that's on the market. Oh, my God. I hope this doesn't mess me up with PLM because um, I like their parts. You never know who you may work with in the future. Um, their brackets look very familiar to other. Well, this bracket looks quite terrible. Beyond, look at that weld. That is bad. That's a terrible weld. If you, if that's a weld, um, whoever made this, that's not a good welder. And it looked like they just spray painted on top of it with silver paint. So, and they want twelve hundred dollars for this part. Um, I'll tell you guys at the end of the catless system, which ones I do not recommend. Now we have CTS Turbo. Now CTS Turbo does make other parts for this company, and I do have a video that I should be dropping at some point talking about CTS Turbo um, intakes, which I installed, and they're complete garbage. And I don't think you should do that because they did not do any R&D installing this on the vehicle. They just made it and throw it out there, and they didn't make a good part. Well, the downpipes, I'm not too positive, but it seems like they're doing sorry something very similar to something what another company was doing in this in uh, in this sense, very similar to Modeler Works. See what I'm saying? They have the heat shielding that they add on top of it. Bear with me, guys. They have the each heat shielding they had it on top of it, and it seems like. But the welding is different for the lower down parts, so they're doing something very similar. I think the tabs look pretty good for what they're worth. Uh, at least kind of from what I can see here, but I don't I think it's just a one piece weld rather than like a two three piece weld that I can tell here so I once again that little stamp that they put on there just to know that they got it from themselves that you got it from that company um and they want thirteen hundred dollars for their catless system now you have army treks racing downpipe with cat simulator um the cat simulator is pretty pretty much well this well, I only got one photo here. This weld actually looks really good if this is for this car. It looks like it is, but they don't show any other parts. They have one piece weld for that bracket right there. And the welding looks pretty kind of good from what I could tell, but I can't tell. They want $1,300 for it, and they have a, uh, a CAT simulator. Pretty much means that um, they're going to put an old oxygen sensor like spacer or bug inside the hole, the oxygen sensor hole, and it's going to have callous material in it. And when the car is running... The, the exhaust fumes gets filtered through that um, small amount of material and could still kind of trick the oxygen sensor. But even then, it may be slow to start, and you still may get a check engine light every now and then. They want $1,400 for their exhaust. Now, um, I have this company. I think this one might be a repeat of the other one from the start. Let me just double check. No. So HMD exhaust, I know we spoke about them here. Yes, we already spoke about HMD exhaust, so I'll remove them. And the last one, is this the last one? Uh, no, we still got some more. Oh, my God. This is another company called Zephyr Performance. They want $1,500 for their downpipe catalyst system. Not much parts, not much information. $1,500. Don't know who they are. Black Boost. Shout out to Black Boost. Much love to them. They want 1700 for their um, catless downpipe system. Uh, they have plenty of photos and information out there. They even put their Black Boost signature on their brackets, but it still seems like a one weld across, and I don't know how thick that metal is. Over time with exhaust twisting, that stuff can crack over there. Not saying it ever will. Not coming at Black Boost or any company, but... I've been in the automotive world when they put welds on exhaust just straight across like that on something that holds and twists, things do bend and twist around. That's just my personal opinion. But it all depends on how good the welder is. They want $1,700 for theirs. Next, we have PTG. PTG makes some great turbos, man, some powerful turbos for the Mercedes platform. Um, and they made their racing downpipes, and it looks like it's two-piece still. And they seem like they don't use a lot of metal material, to be honest. I like how their brackets look like, to be honest. They have the bracket that goes across, kind of like a triangle, using triangles. I like that. It's a lot more stronger. And it seems like the typical V-band. It's not all pretty, but I think it's pretty nice. But they want seventeen fifty for what it is. Man, when I get to the end, you guys are going to laugh about what I say. 
Army Treks racing downpipes with Cat Simulator. Remember the Cat Simulator noise again? Same thing here. Army Treks is just going to put their name on it. Their bracket looks quite nice. They have a different bracket. Ooh, that looks, dude, that's nice. That's nice. I see their bracket here. That's nice. I like that. I like what I see from them. But once again, once you go for the higher, you notice that the, the more popular brands cost more. Army Trek ceramic coated race down pipes with Cat Simulator. So understand ceramic coated is just on a coating that they put on to reduce the temperature of the exhaust pipe or to keep the heat in so that it won't have as much radiant heat. Um, it works pretty well. I People done test on it. I still don't know how that really works, but it does somehow work. And it is what it is. So it's kind of like heat wrap, but you spray it on or paint it on. It is what it is. They want $2,300 for a very similar system. But didn't another system also say that they have a cat cat simulator for like half the price or like for like $1,500? You'd be surprised. Valtrex designed free flow pipes. They want $2,500 and that's how their system look like. You might as well buy PTGs. PTGs look exactly the same. All right, and Wise Tech. Now we're getting into the really expensive stuff. Wise Tech's downpipes. They want thirty two hundred for theirs. Look at their bracket. They have nice brackets. I like that. The Wells looks pretty good, and they take a nice, clear, clean video. All right. Okay, cool. Still three hundred five. Still, still haven't seen titanium here yet. Then you have uh, well, that was Wise Tech, right? So this is also Wise Tech. We already the same Wise Tech, but let's just look and see if there's some better photos here. No, they don't have any better photos. Let's click them off. Now we're gonna stop here at Wise Tech. Now there may be a couple of the companies that you guys may see pop up um, within. You might see other companies when you start Googling it. Just understand that some of the more popular companies are going to be the one that's going to get all the love. There's going to be cheaper companies that people are going to say don't buy because they're cheap. I'm going to say on a video, and none of you guys are going to like it, and I don't care. It's still just pipe. It's still just pipe. What you're buying with the brand name is fitment usually is better, craftsmanship is better, and warranty is usually better, period. That's what you buy when you buy the more expensive stuff. Usually, they can stand behind their product. Usually, the cheaper brands don't really offer warranty, good craftsmanship. And sometimes in the middle, you can find good companies that give the good craftsmanship and warranty, but for about half the price of the top name brands. So this is why we always have a problem. But even including in just this video, I proved to you guys and shown you guys how a lot of these companies are just buying a product and being a middleman. Shout out to capitalism. Shout out to America and just rebranding it and selling it to you for like five hundred dollars more. And they just put their little name on it. It's insane. Shoot, Boost in Motion should do it, right? Or in this case, Boost in Forens. So I want to finish this video. We're going to talk about the Catit systems. I'm now going to recommend first thing. I'm going to recommend the Catlet systems that you guys should get. None. I recommend getting none of the Catalyst systems. I believe that on a W213, it is only beneficial for the performance, and that's all, period. But I still believe in a car running right, and to turn off your emissions so that the car can run right, and so that a yellow, yellow, yellow light won't be on, on the um, thing, to me, isn't right. I don't think that's right. If coming from the Nissan Infinity community, you can tune the cars properly, and still it won't get a check engine light because the car is still running right and burning properly. But why should I turn off emissions for the W213? That lets me question on what the tuning may be and how good is the car running. Yes, the car can be running right making a good amount of power, but doesn't mean that that exhaust is burning up all the fuel or most of the fuels as it should. It can still be pretty much pretty bad for you, if you know what I mean. And bad for the earth. That's just me being a green thub. I'm a, I'm, I apologize. Now, let's talk about the catted down to, up down pipes that I do recommend and see what their prices is. Quick disclaimer: catted down pipes are always going to be more expensive than catless system, no matter the manufacturer. First is Zach, Zach Motorsports. I believe I didn't actually speak on Zach for catless system. I believe they do make a catless system. It's going to be cheaper than the catted down pipe system, but you can choose to do so. So this is this way. They do have catless stainless. Okay, they do have catless stainless one and they do have catted shielded. Okay, so catted shielded 
would be an additional four hundred and sixty six dollars and catalyst would actually be twelve ninety three. So if you want the cat uh, cat system, that's going to bring up the total price even more expensive. So I'm assuming that will be like eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred dollars for the cat system. They do have the cat shielding if you guys can take a look and they put the name Zach on there with their 3D welding and everything like that. And that's how it looks, how the cat list look like. Now, next company. You have CTS Turbo race down pipes. Um, they their race down pipes they actually have high flow catalyst system. They also have a catalyst system that we talked about before. But their catalyst system costs about seventeen hundred dollars. Now, even though I still have my problems with the intakes, I still think this is a fair price for a catalyst system. I just don't know what the cell count is of that catalyst catalyst material they put in here, and they don't say it. They just saying you have to go and get you know, repeat that you, that I recommend you go and get tuning software. And I do agree with that. So that could be a hundred cell. And I know a hundred cell is probably going to uh, also get, send you guys a, um, check engine light. So I don't know if it's a 300 cell or even a 200. They also sell 400 cell catted down pipes too. I mean, uh, catted material, but they want 1700. I still think that's a pretty good price. Now you have MTC. Remember we saw them a little earlier. They're actually telling you the cell count. 200 cell count high flow sport cats with heat shield. Notice that they actually give you the benefits of the heat shield too. Isn't that crazy? Um, heat shield. Let me see if there's any photos I could take a look at. I like the brackets already. Um, and the original photo, I can't really see no brackets there on that one. But they hide in it. But once again, they want the 1400 euro. So I don't know how much that is in the United States, but this can actually be probably very something, very similar to something as the CTS Turbo or even the Zach is if the Zacks are catted. Let me see. Let me see more the photos of the Zacks being catted. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Nope, can't get that. See the Zacks being catted. Aren't they so funny? Isn't it so funny that a lot of these are starting to look very similar, right? Um, you have FI Exhaust. Let me click that off. You have FI Exhaust. They're just showing a photo of how the material, how it's supposed to look catless and cat it with the 1, 2, and 300 cell. I left that in here so you guys can see. And also, that's how that dummy oxygen sensor look like. Pretty much, it's going to be, once again, an oxygen sensor plug that comes into the bug. And that's supposed to trick the oxygen sensor to think that there's still cat material here. You see how the cat material is inside that dummy sensor? This is how we try to trick it. They want $1,800 for their ultra. If you want their ultra high flow, if you want their two sport 200 cell downpipe, that's going to be $1,900 additional which is going to bring the total cost up to $2,600. Oh, shit. That's expensive. Then you have Top End Motorsports. i a bit confused. I This is not actually for this car, so I'll take this one out. They else they does say it's Mercedes-AMG GT63 um, X290. I do know that um, the downpipe should be transferable between a GT63 and a W213. I did leave them for that reason, but... Until they actually say W213, we'll take them out the video. But they do want um, $2,600 for their downpipes. Um, we have IP, I, I, IPE. Um, they have their downpipes. Uh, CADIT, these are also, once again, CADIT, from what I can tell. The reason because usually that part right there is a lot more circular. Um, they don't say if it's CADIT here, but to me, this is CADIT, especially for $2,700. It seems like all one piece. There might be a second band right there at the bottom, but man, this looks a lot more rough and not as a pretty piece. And it doesn't say what the cell count is either. There's not really much description here. I probably would have to go directly to the website to find that information. Then you have Army Trex ceramic coated sports cat pipe um, with 20 CPSI catalyst converter, so 20 cell and a secondary downpipe. Okay, cool. And they want $3,200 for theirs. All right, we got two more to go. We have a uh, bond. Bon, what is it? This random website that wants thirty six hundred dollars for whatever brand this is. I don't even know the brand of this. 
and they want thirty six hundred dollars. Don't purchase this. I don't even know what this is. Um, they doing a three bracket thing there. That looks like a terrible belt. That's like a tack on weld. Look at that. Look at that. Can I zoom in? Shit. I wish I could. They have a, a terrible tack on weld there, which is going to crack and break and rust. And this is all going to rust. All these welds that you see here are going to rust. This is terrible welding. Whoever did this is terrible quality. I ain't want $3,600 for this. Do not purchase this exhaust at all. And I think this is the same company. So the melt company is Meltec. And they also include a W205 as the same. I don't believe they're interchangeable between the, the C63 and the E63S. But they still have a better stock photo of that same exhaust. And no, do not purchase this. And they want $5,000. Do not. Do not touch this. Guys, I'm going to give you my final estimate here. I'm going to tell you guys straight up, if I had to purchase down price, which I'm not going to do it for my W213, but if I will, it will probably be between Zach, um, Zach and um, CTS Turbo. There, When it comes to pipe, you still got to get it in 304 steel. It's Most of them are going to give you some kind of heat wrap or heat shielding. Um, and it all, all depends on the callus and material that the guys are giving you. I would actually prefer 300 cell count because it's the best. At least I can say I want the, the, the cell count to be the highest so that I'll be as close as closest to it. This one says 200 cell count. I guess it's just something that they're just a number that they aim for. But I believe one of these companies that I was looking at earlier, which I do want to bring up quickly now, they also stated that um you can um change your cell count to bear with me, guys. I want to do it on video. Come on, come on. You're here somewhere. It was right out. It was right before the Zach, right? Zach was right here with their downpipes, and then there was an option where I can add in a different cell count. I can't find it. Damn it! Shoot, I want to find it, but the one, the one that um, it had said that I can choose this specific cell count. Was it this company? Was it the H M I M A H M I D? I can't find it, guys. I'm sorry, man. But, it, okay, it's this one. It's this one from Alien Express. I actually like the HDMI exhaust. The reason being is I can pick the cell count. It said 300 cell count, and they want A53 plus $245. I think that's probably a bargain if they do fit well, and I would actually take a risk on installing this because I get 300 cell count. Um, it's the most affordable out of all the cat catalytic um purchases but it's just going to take a long time to get here october 27 two to three weeks that's going to take too long but if you want to purchase in the usa where something's going to come pretty quickly i would recommend the zach motorsports and i, I want to say the cts turbos I, I don't so i'm gonna just stick with the zach motorsports and if you really care about the name brand and everything of course you can go with the was it wise tech the wise tech versions was it Wise Tech? I know Wise Tech or one of these more expensive companies have their own brand name for it. But nonetheless, you can go with the more expensive brands and purchase them too if you really care about the get, go, going with um, a pretty known company. A lot of these companies, let me close out this video, right? Because this is a very long video, right? Most of these companies, right, are going to, um, let me just make it a little bigger. Most of these companies, from what you saw in this video, are purchasing and just rebranding other companies' parts. Um, most of the craftsmanships are very similar because it's just repurposed and rebranded. Um, quality matters. Warranty matters. Understand that when you get these parts that there will there may be fitment issues with the expensive and the cheap ones because it's welding stuff though those, those accidents do happen um and in my personal opinion no matter what you buy on this list if it's catless they're all going to sound very similar if it's catted they're all going to very sound very similar if you use the same exhaust getting down pipes will change the exhaust sound dramatically literally night and day difference or no matter whatever exhaust you are because you are inducing more um, noise from the engine into the exhaust and out, outside the engine i mean outside the exhaust um so 
don't think that because you're buying a certain brand, it's going to sound different. It's just, you're just buying a brand here, but mainly just stick on the idea of craftsmanship, warranty, and price. Um, stay away from those crappy welds. I showed you terrible welds. Um, do your due diligence. See if you can find the company's website, direct website, and see what they're actually offering. Um, if you are going to go with a CAD system, which I do agree, try to go with a 300 cell count so that you can reduce the reduce the, the the chance of you having a check engine light if you do, let's say, put these on untuned. If you put these on with your stage one, because you can do still do a stage one with catted down pipes. Um, just make sure it has a higher cell count possible so that you don't run into any check engine lights. That means the car is running properly. Um, if you go anything that's 100 or 200 cell count, you're probably still going to get a check engine light. I'm assuming you're still going to probably get it because those are really low cell counts. And even on other manufacturers, that still may trigger a check engine light. Um, and understand that this is still one of the most, to me, I still a very expensive purchase for this for this car because it's the amount of work that has to be done. Other cars, you can just raise them in the air and take off the downpipe. Or some other cars, you can do it while it's on the ground and just stick your hand in. But this is one of the vehicles where you have to drop the transmission just to access the downpipes for this vehicle. You have to drop the whole transmission. So there's a lot more time and labor into it. And to do all of that work just to get a check engine light is insane. There are the ways of cutting the OEM down pipes in half and then just pulling them out that way so you don't have to do it. It saves time, but then down the road when you sell the car or you run into any, uh, uh, let's say, warranty issues, you're not supposed to drive in there with down pipes from E63S. It's not recommended. So um, if there's any questions that you guys have when, when it comes to modifying your W213 or even W205, maybe I'll make a separate video for the W205 on downpipe options. Uh, definitely hit me up at Boost Motion. Bo oh, shoot. See, I said Boost Motion. See, I'm still running both channels. Boost and Forens on Instagram. And um, I will definitely get back to you guys in a the DM there. Um, I'm picking up on it. So right now I'm helping you guys with the Boost and Forens side. But after a while, I'm going to have to switch it over to with subscription where you guys pay like 2 $3 a month so I can ask all the questions that you guys need. So once again, I really do appreciate you for banging with your boy Boost. I really appreciate it. So you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you.